Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I was bit multiple times by alkaline batteries. God, such a pain. And uh, the fact of the matter is some items are brand new and they come with alkaline batteries and ones that come of the Orient origin and um, you know the pro products straight off the shelf are coming in leaky and defective. Um, so let's show you my latest <laughs> this is a mess I apologize but it, it just literally walked in the door and somebody asked if I could help with something and I said sure let's let's take a look and um, I'll show you what I found there right, guys so here I am <laughs> this I'm setting my studio back up here what what chaos and this one here walked in the door so um, obviously the first thing that people want to do is blame the batteries Yes, we can measure those with a voltmeter. However, I chose to do one step better. You see, I have these leads over here on my wall, and they have, right now, some test leads on them. And they go over there to a benchtop power supply. You can see it's set at three volts, and I have no idea, I, I didn't current limit it, because I was like, screw it, if it catches on fire, it catches on fire. But this, this guy here is a uh, portable toothbrush. Yeah, so it um, does take two AA alkaline batteries. And uh, you can see this one is brand new from the store. And it, it is technically hermetically sealed. However, uh, there's a little band in the back here that I cut that allowed me access. And one of the cool things when you have hermetically sealed items is sometimes you have a few extra of these uh, snap ring pliers like inside and outside pliers and you can fit them in tight spaces and, and crack cases open. These things do work a champ. And then my Weeha tool set comes with this little guy right here. And this guy is also a champ for getting in those crevices and popping things open. So, what did we find? Well, come to find out, I have AA batteries and they leaked all over the inside. So even though the battery compartment and the terminals themselves were relatively clean, Normally that's the first indicators when these terminals right here have corrosion, but it was also clean here. However, the battery acid got in here by the motor. The motor itself was fine, but you can see the actual motor terminals right here, which are normally copper. They are completely corroded and falling apart. So that motor is absolute trash and it's, you know, I got that battery acid on me. Normally you can take electronics grade rubbing alcohol if there's a little bit of corrosion on terminals or vinegar and you can scrub it on the terminals and it'll clean it up and you can continue using your product. But when you have intrusion like this, you can see how it's up here. There's still remnants of, of the liquid. It's just absolute trash. So guys, I have been bitten many, many times. This did is it just me or are alkaline batteries leaking way more than they did years past? Like it, it's almost guaranteed they're going to leak now. Whereas before, I mean, I still have toys from the 1980s that you can open them up and believe it or not, they are not leaking. And uh, I got like the old Rayovac batteries, you know, the cat with the lightning and stuff. I got some of those. They're not leaking. But if I get like Duracell, I, I haven't really had a problem with energizers, but some of these uh, oriental variants that come with products, God, get those right out as fast as you can. I mean, I've got all sorts of things that take these batteries and they leak. So now it's become like a regular part of my household PM program where I'm changing out batteries that aren't even bad. So let's say every six months to a year, I'm changing out even like AAA batteries in my remotes because there's nothing worse than having like a thousand dollar or fifteen hundred dollar TV and your remote gets corroded. There's nothing worse than that because the TV is largely in op because most modern day TVs don't have menu buttons. So that's wild. But uh, anyway guys, these uh, alkaline batteries, they're getting to be quite the hassle and products now from the store are even coming with battery corrosion issues. and. I don't really know a solution to it other than hurry up and get those cheaper batteries out. And now I've, I've stuck with Energizer for a lot of things because they're not leaking. However, <laughs> the price of Energizers 
is just absolutely through the roof lately. So um, there's not really a solution. But uh, anyway, just to let you guys know, if you have an item that is going to be in storage, let's say for a week or so, take the batteries out. And if it's going to be in storage for a month, two months, six months, you know, holiday decorations, stuff like that, take those batteries out, guys. Guaranteed, modern day alkaline batteries will leak and they will destroy your product. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys change your batteries.